Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Wario Land, Super Mario Land 3. In the last video, we stormed Kitchen Island, and we took care of the first two courses on Rice Beach. Yes, the name of this island is Kitchen Island. Kind of figured that out, kind of remembered that after the first video. Course 3 has some slightly different terrain, but it's not insurmountable. So, without further ado, let's go! New enemy coming up real quickly right here is Crabs. If you're not Dragon Wario, the only way to get rid of them is to tackle them from behind. Any other direct, any other way, such as jumping on them or hitting them from the front will definitely get you killed and you don't want to do that. Or at least send you back to being small Wario. Gonna go ahead and hit some blocks here to get some hearts. And go ahead and take the take care of the rest of these enemies here. Finally we have some points. Wanna get all of these first and get these hearts. That way we can go down this little hole here through the quicksand, which you can only get through by pressing A over and over again, since I failed to mention it earlier, and go to this hidden room where we have a bunch of hearts, a bunch of coins, some rat who throws knives at us, and a bull warrior power-up, which I will take good, ad good advantage of. And we come out through this door, and we come out a little later in the stage as soon as we climb this ladder. But at least I can actually take care of these crabs for coins. Might as well go ahead and take care of the rest of these crabs and go ahead and backtrack after this. There's a little bit to look into in terms of backtracking from this point, but not much. Got ourselves a one up here. There should be a continue point for just in case. First, a whole bunch of parts. And that's basically all that we skipped from taking that little shortcut. Pro tip in case you're actually standing near a continue point, go ahead and stand near it. Do yourself a favor, just stand near it. That way, you will never miss with the 10 coin, at least in throwing it. At least in the act of throwing it. I'll go rush through this a little more. Get some hidden parts here. And take care of the last of this section. Want to jump through this in time, so that way I can actually move around and take care of that spear guy. want to tackle him. You can go over this wall here and go to the right for the secret exit. But, uh, well, we're not going to see it for a little while. We won't be able to reach it until a little later. So for now, just go through this exit. Just go through the normal one. And I'm just going to go straight to the coin counting screen because I'd rather wait until I have more coins to do the coin game. Which I'll do again soon enough. And now it's time for course four. This one's also a little different. Probably the first major hurdle that you'll deal with in the game. Behind you is a spike swamp. If that thing touches you, you will die. So get away from that thing and tackle all these blocks. Since we're Bull Wario here, taking care of these things is a snap. And then you want to wait here. Why do you want to wait over there? For that thing. Because believe it or not, even though touching it will kill you, you can actually stand on the top of it. You will need this swamp as they ride across this lava, otherwise you will have to jump into the lava and die and start over. 
there are hearts in these blocks, but I'm rather, I'd rather just avoid those and take care of what's really important, such as these enemies. Which I want to take out whenever I can. Definitely want to avoid these spikes too, just by ducking under them. Might as well go ahead and get this garlic for more hearts, because we can. A lot safer than the uh, other two if you can just pass by. Take care of some more blocks. And we should be able to get out of here momentarily. There we go. Time to get into this door and get out of here. And whenever a... Wow. Okay, apparently I stunned it. And actually got the thing to hit the floor. It got the thought to hit the floor at the same time. So therefore... I got one ten point and hit and spawned another spear goon. So I just lucked out with a glitch. Yeah, if, some, if something is done and a thwomp kills it, and a, and a thwomp comes down on it, you get 10 coins out of the deal, which is really nice. And I'd, re I'd much rather keep the coins that I have, thank you very much, because, well, one, I'd rather wait until I get more coins to do the coin game again, and as, well, as far as a heart game goes, I'm just going to get... A good amount of one-ups through normal gameplay. Just from defeating all the enemies that I can get my mitts on. As well as collecting all sorts of hearts through the game. So, I should be good. As far as lives go. Go ahead and toss this thing in harm's way and get some more coins. Wanna be careful here, you wanna wait until that thing is up before you take out the last of the blocks there, and then you can actually pass by safely. There are some coins here, but I'm going to skip them because uh, I could have gotten 10 coins from that, but oh well. I wanted to skip the, skip the rest of those coins because of the risk of instant death from that thwomp. Okay, wait for this thing to come down, and then wait for this to get out of my way so I can jump over it. Go ahead and trigger this continue point just in case. And we got some new enemies here. Want to stun that guy before you hit him, or hit him from behind, but I'd much rather stun him because I'm bull Wario and because I can. These guys will kick spike balls at you, you definitely want to avoid those. Go ahead and get another one up because again we're Bull Wario and we picked up a bull hat. Just staying alive and taking as few hits as possible will definitely net you some hearts. Especially from power ups that you've already gotten, but you might as well go ahead and grab again because, well, picking the same power up twice will give you hearts. And behind those blocks was a door. Inside is an exclamation point block. When we hit it, the blocks surrounding these hearts will be gone. So we're a little closer to another extra life now. Go ahead and send that guy for the coins. And here's our first boss of the game, which is this spiky turtle guy. Want to jump over him with up and A? You, you could hit him while he's rising up, but... Well, you have to be near him to be able to do that, and you can also hit him on his way down. Once again, you have to be close enough to do that, too. Thankfully, this guy only takes three hits, and he pass, tries to pass by you at least three times. And after the third hit, he's basically done. Try to get all the coins that you can. After you beat the boss, thankfully that was pretty easy. And I have almost 200 coins here. 
So I might as well go ahead and go and test my luck here with the bucket game again. Let's see how well I do. Ah. Uh, so I'm gonna go to, I think, 99. Yep, 99. Let's hope I don't get the, the, uh... What did I just say, game? What did I just say? I'm gonna have 24 coins at the end of this. Okay, maybe not. 98 coins, that's still not too bad. We have something to start with. And once we're done with Rice Beach, we're able to go on to the next area, which is Mount Teapot, which I'll start covering in the next video. So join me then, viewers. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!